Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 51, I believe, or is it 50? What is it? F fuck, I have no idea. Sorry, it's been a few days. But anyways, welcome back to the Wizard 101 Let's Play series. Today we're going to be doing another episode. Today we're doing uh, Stone Town and Waterfront. Um, it actually might... Um, Jumbo. Might be uh, just Stone Town one episode and then just... Uh, <laughs> what's it called another and then just waterfront another because as much as I want to combine them into one uh, it might be a little bit too long if I do that so if um if stone town ends up taking me 20 minutes I'll probably uh, cut it and then tomorrow's episode will be waterfront which um Obviously, Waterfront is the harder of the two. It has bosses. It has Belloc, who is one of the hardest bosses. And then, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we'll uh, have to get ready. And also, I've realized that I could have used this teleporter now. Um, but I forgot. So, whatever. Um, I do need to look up the quest guide real quick. Uh, do that. <laughs> yeah, so, um, sorry for the break, but I have just lost a little bit of steam in regards to wanting to make the Let's Play videos. Obviously, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep coming back. It's just, I know for a fact, it, it's, it's... I, I want it to be, you know, to last a longer amount of time, but the, the, the main issue is that um, I know for a fact there's going to be a time in Avalon or Azteca, probably actually sometime in Avalon, where um, I am not going to be wanting to play anymore. I'm, I'm going to reach, uh, especially once I reach the end of Avalon, I'm not going to be having a good time. I don't... Uh, Azteca and Chrysalis are not fun. They're not good. They're not. They're not anything. And while the twenty percent reduction to health is good, it's not perfect. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't solve the fact that Azteca and Chrysalis are still really long worlds that end up. Uh, you know, they're gonna end up having me be like completely dead inside by the end of it. You know. All right. Let's go here. Just want to look at the uh, quest guide real quick. I am in right here. All right, that makes sense. I was just looking at trying, like trying to see what um, you know what exactly is going down it looks like you know this episode is a lot of mob fights as i mentioned last time and if we just if we decide to include can you talk to him from down here you cannot um if i decide to include waterfront into it it'll be quite a few boss fights as well which i'm really starting to think it's not a good idea to include uh waterfront i definitely think I, I definitely think if I do both of them, it'll be a 50 minute episode or a 40 minute episode, but I could just divide that into two, you know, so, you know, I don't think it's the best idea. Have you checked with Killamon Copperleaf and the- You fought- You fixed the boiler? Looks like we're ready to set sail. Hop on the Zafarian Queen. Next stop, Stone Town. See kid, the safari. If you ever need to go back, see kid, the safari. If you ever need to go, Amelie gave you a letter for the oh. Elephant Queen. Take it to the Darajani Palace. Tell the guard you're an envoy from Zamunda. For some reason, this guy reminds me slightly of Han Solo, and I don't know if he reminds anyone else of Han Solo. State your business outside. Um, the reason why I say that, by the way, is because um, is because. He's like, you know, finest ship in the galaxy, you know, stuff like that. Just reminds me of him vaguely. 1300. What did these guys have before? 
I swear that this is around what they had before. This is more than they had before. I thought, but maybe not. I mean, I think, yeah, I kill anyway, but strange to think about. All right, do I keep this battle in? You know what, sure. Um, but you know, you, you probably noticed I've been making a lot of guide videos recently. Um, that is for multiple reasons. Um, exhibit A, reason A, um, I've, um, haven't been really as enthused with recording the Let's Play series. And exhibit B is because I've been a lot more busy recently. Um, school's kind of ramped up a little bit. Like, uh, I had like, uh, you know, a test, uh, this week and I had a few quizzes and stuff like that. But, um, now that the test is over and stuff, it should be good. Um, I have a job interview later today, so hopefully that will go well, and then from there, I'll just have to, you know, figure, uh, fit more into my schedule. Um, you know, there is some, some problems with how I have my channel set up right now. It's very hard to have one video a day, um, but I'm trying. I don't want to lose my upload streak. I've, uh, I've gone... About 150, 160 days uploading now. So, well you know, definitely, I want to keep going. Um, it's funny how many Wiz videos I have on my channel. It's actually crazy. Considering, right, my last Let's Play series was 107 episodes. This one's on about episode 50 or so. I don't remember. And then, um... You know, and then I have all my guide videos, so all together that's like 170 or more, so. And I definitely have over 200, I think, because, um, I have like 300 videos on my channel, 315, I believe. And, uh, I'm almost positive that most of those are Wizard 101, like at least two-thirds. I do enjoy the music here. It's it's very calming, very soothing. The tribal music is nice. Sorry, I was just very uh not without a royal order, you don't. Go tell Hathi the zoo, he's closed. That's incredibly rude. But, um... What was I trying to say? I don't remember. Ow. What was I gonna say? I don't remember. I'm enjoying, uh... You know, Zafari though, it isn't that bad. It's, it's not bad. It's just that I know that the future is going to be bad. Ugh. Avalon, not so much. Uh, definitely, once I reach, um... What's it called, though? I'm gonna stop, not have as much fun. Once I reach Azteca, you know, we're gonna have some problems. Because Azteca just isn't as fun. I also definitely want to do side quests here, by the way. I'm pretty sure I can get to... I'll, I'll get to 71 either this episode or next episode. And then I'll get to 72 sometime, like probably two episodes from now. <clears throat> I'll probably cap out at the end of Zafari at 73 or 74. I kind of want to try to get myself up to 75 at the end of uh, at the end of Zafari. I think that would be cool. That's about five levels ahead, four levels ahead of where you should be. You know, you have to fight that like uh, that solo boss before you can do Avalon, which I kind of want to do. So. All right, the Zooth Berserkers are the fire things, which there are a lot more of right over here. This is this is one of my uh, most hated streets for the particular reason that um, it's my most hated in regards to one thing, and that's um, the fact that all of the enemies are bunched together. So like, it's incredibly hard to get uh, multiple Black Tusk Cultists or. Um, or Greyhorn mercenaries into the battle at the same time, you know? 
very difficult. Alright, back to Hathi. This is a lot of walking. Man, I remember back in the back in the day when I had to throw a ton of monsters into my spell book. My pen. My pen! Exclamation point. All right, back to the zookeeper, dude. You can go in. Yeah. This guy's actually the zookeeper. He's vibe. Look at him. Hey, I know you. Man. Mad. Look at him over here. Who guard? He is rather intense looking. I believe he has a side quest that I've done in the past. It gives a decent amount of XP that's like <clears throat> one of the animals esca escaped or something, so he tells you to go get them. I think I'll actually level up this episode. I only need 23k to level up, so since I have, you know, a solid 5 to 10 more quests left, um, should be fine. Fine indeed. My camera looks a little bit up, which is strange. There we go. You want me to out? All right, happy. So I believe we need to clean up the streets a bit, because there's a bunch of enemies here. Wow. We're not getting any jewels, huh? We have Fire Giver. That's like the only good jewel I see that we have. <sighs> Quiet Riot. What was the last quest? Bang your head. Do, do. Metal health of drive, you mad. So, um, I think... Okay, if I remember correctly, because I think I've done this before, I think you can go to Zimunda and beat the ones over here. Now, I could be very wrong. If I am very wrong, I'm obviously going to cut out future fights with these guys. But, if I'm not, look at me, I'm a genius. I'm pretty sure you can actually beat these, these ones over here, and it counts towards the quest goal. So we're going to test that theory out. I did this last time as well, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember what the result was. I don't remember if it was if it worked or if it didn't work. Let me look over here. A mob. Okay, so I believe like the next 3 quests are all or I think is this quest also Okay, this quest and the next two quests are all um, Rage Against the Machine references, which is strange. But, I don't know. Yeah, okay. This quest in the next two. Let me see. Okay, it does count. All right. Uh, do I leave in this fight? Yeah, might as well. Why not? Right. I'll only cut out the defeat collect quests because those are boring. Um. Yeah, but this quest. What is it? Calm like a bomb. The next quest, bulls on parade, and then know your enemy. All references to rage against the machine. I don't think I've ever heard Calm Like a Bomb, but I've heard the other two, and they are good songs, so. <clears throat> this is taking a long time. Also, my camera is just unfocused. Um. Yeah, this episode's gonna be exactly around what I expected. They're probably around 20 minutes, so. 
Ooh, a crit. That's nice. Haven't seen one of those in a bit. The queen has proven she is weak and surrounded by fools. We will not follow someone we do not respect. I find that funny because it's like you beat those ones and they say that and they're just That's nowhere right. near Stone Town. Pulls on parade. All right, back over to the fire, guys. I believe last time I did this, I accidentally beat like a pair of death enemies, thinking that I had to beat the fire enemies just because I didn't read it, and it, that was really annoying. But I don't remember. It's been a too long. Last time I was here on my other Let's Play series, it was April, which was a solid five months ago. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm very tired today. The last Musuth Berserker you defeat drops a curious looking headdress. Bro, did she just say Berserker? Seems to have some like, spell. she has a Boston accent. She's like, yeah. Hathi Iron Trunk. Iron Trunk. True. Alright. Aziz or Rough Foot. Imagine having the name Rough Foot. That must suck, bro. You know, I'm pretty sure in two or three levels, I'm gonna have over 3,000 health, which is pretty lit. It's also a side quest over here, I remember. It's not a bad one. I'm pretty sure that's because, that's because I did the side quests here. On my balance, I did all the side quests over here. Sobako over there. Pretty sure he's the dude who sails to the next area to waterfront or he's at least the one who sails you to drum jungle i think okay more mazuth berserkers but don't grunt at me like that it makes me feel uncomfortable all right let's go over here and beat the mazuth berserkers <laughs> Prepare to die, bitches. Prepare to die. Yes. <laughs> Four pips first round is literally best case scenario here. Okay. Um, you know how I said best case scenario? Yeah, I changed what I said. Uh, hmm. I take that back. I fizzled. So it doesn't matter anyway. Is this why my camera was up like here? Is it because I was sitting up last time I was recording and now I'm slouching down so it looks all different? Whatever, I can sit up for the rest of the episode. Goodbye. And they're dead. Fuck off, bitch. Alright, two to three. I'll, I'll pause the video for this one. I'll see you guys when I have the last heads, uh, headdress. All right, I'm back. I also think I leveled up like last quest. I don't, I don't remember it happening, but I did. I definitely did level up last quest. I, I only noticed like middle of the battle when I looked down and saw that my health was twenty nine fifteen. I was like, oh, that's more than it was before. Before it was twenty eight ninety nine. Let us Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So I imagine I will be seventy two, like drum jungle, right? Because, the reason I say that is because I believe that the waterfront has a dungeon that gives like 40k XP, which is a lot of XP, plus the all the rest of the XP that we have around here. Oh my god, I need to go back and beat more. But, plus all the uh, XP I'm getting from these quests, like the, oh, why why does this give a thousand? That's, that's bullshit. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, uh... Okay, I only have like two, two, like two or three quests left, and then I go to the waterfront. The second I get into waterfront, that's when I'll end this episode. 
But, um... Yeah, I need to walk all the way over here. Alright, this isn't gonna do full damage. It's gonna do, like, a thousand, and then next, next round we'll kill them. Because I think these guys have storm shields they can use, don't they? Alright, goodbye. Oh, sorry, I've been spacing out the last 20 seconds. <laughs> did something- <laughs> did something happen? Alright, I'll, I'll- I'll see you guys when I beat in this last one. Alright, I've returned. I beat- I beat them up, again. Alright, Sabaka. Can I talk to him through this wall over here? No, no I cannot. Alright. Me a reminder, this is the guy who we talked to earlier who went exactly like that in that exact tone of voice. Sorry. While you fight some black tusk cultists, I'll sneak down to the boat and get it ready. You can meet me there. Okay, so this is what I find to be the most annoying thing. Because these fuckers usually don't travel in packs. Right, can I get one right here? Nope. Trying to get two at a time, which is very hard to do. Okay, I need to let this this fire one run over here. And then I and then I, I charge into a battle in like two, one, there we go. It's very hard to get two in a battle at the same time. See, after I get two in a battle the first time, it isn't that bad, because then afterwards I just, um... I can get one along with one of the fire ones, but... Uh, it's so annoying. This is... I, I've said it before, but this is one of the things I think King's Isle does, like, the worst that makes me super annoyed, is when they, when they put enemies together on, like, the same rotation thing when they're different types of enemies. It's just, it's just really annoying to deal with. And it's not like challenging or anything, it's just needlessly tedious to deal with. <clears throat> Alright. And please die. Oh, yay. I used the I used the power move. I went bang bang shebang and then they died. Alright, I see you guys when I beat the last one. I'm back. I crit and then beat them up and they died. <clears throat> now we're gonna go to waterfront. But that is mostly for next episode. Look at that black so lotus I got. She yeah. Boom. As a dancing queen. <laughs> Sorry, the boat's called the dancing queen. So I started saying dancing queen by ABBA. Now, anyways, um, you know, if you enjoyed, please drop a like, hit the sub button. Sorry that the intensity was lower today. Um, I would like to try to hit 335 by the end of September, but probably is not doable. Six days for uh, five subs is pretty hard and pretty unlikely for you guys to hit, but... You may surprise me, who knows. Um, so if you enjoyed, drop a like, sub. Yeah, I already said that. Uh, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next episode.